doing this live. Um, my name is JJ Brown. I work for PowerCost Sync, and I'm here to talk to you about Rust's system of data ownership. Andres talked about Rust earlier. Uh, went over a lot of really cool features. Uh, I'm going to talk to you just about one specifically. I'm not going to try to sell Rust to you. It is a great language. You should use it. That's not what I'm up here for. Rust's idea of data ownership is trying to handle fast concurrency, safe concurrency, and um, very clean, efficient code with allocations and deallocations without having to worry about uh, corrupting your memory, invalid data access, or things like that. Uh, so to start with, uh, who here has ever had a seg fault? Anyone in the room? Yeah, a lot of hands. Uh, so that can happen from a couple different things, from freeing up the same data twice after it's already been freed, from trying to read from something you're not allowed to read, dereferencing an old pointer, um, or even if threads are mutating stuff. Sometimes things get mutated the wrong place and you're either reading data that's logically bad or you're accessing out of bounds. Uh, Rust has a system called ownership, which says basically, um, I, uh, maybe I'm a tree or something like that, I own this bit of data. If I have um, a bunch of statistics, for example, about the city of Dusseldorf in Germany, um, then I'm the only one who can modify all of that data. Uh, I can lend out pointers to other people, I can give people read-only pointers and things like that, or I can give one person a uh, mutable borrow, but I can't do that at the same time. I can't let people read my data and let someone else write it at the same time. And that avoids a few different problems. If, um, if I have two different threads, maybe I have one loading data from the internet, uh, I've initialized my data to population of zero, nothing interesting in Dusseldorf, and I'm loading that up with uh, population of a couple million, here's all the beautiful uh, river walks and restaurants inside, but another thread hasn't synchronized with that, then that guy's gonna read stale data and we have a problem, our logic is broken. If I have a um, data structure that's being deallocated, I might still have pointers referencing into the data inside, so when I close up my tree, I've deleted my data in there, someone else still tries to read that, and it's a problem. With the idea of ownership instead, I know um, if I'm able to mutate my code, no one else is. No one else is gonna mess with it, so any data reads are always gonna be synchronized. There's no one else trying to write at the same time. That allows for safe concurrency, that means no one else is corrupting my data while I'm reading it. Um, and it also means that uh, all of my rights are to safe memory, and there's no one else that can deallocate what I'm working on. Uh, if I have a borrow, that's it. Um, anyways, that's, that's basically it. Rust it has a system which enforces that by default, but it's a pattern that works really well in a lot of different languages. If you have a data structure, think about, I'm the one that owns this memory, I can only let go of this data structure when no one else is trying to read or write, and it'll serve you well. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Jay.